We're in the town of the Catherine on the Mullet Peninsula. It's 11 miles from Belmullet town as you go out towards Blacksod, the Blacksod Road. And it gets its name from a quarter of land, meaning Cartur in Irish, which is Cahu, or Cahu, quarter of land. That's where it gets its name. It's just a seaside village here, a fishing village, in the old days. And the dresser that we're looking at here now? The dresser is more than likely made of driftwood. Now in the old days there was no trees left here to cut. Not for over seven, eight hundred years. That dresser is about 90 years old. <clears throat> and um, it was made from driftwood which had to be resawed on a pit with a pit saw. Now that was a six foot two man job, a frame saw and a, and a saw pit. And uh, those big box or, or planks were resawn into boards, into inch boards, and um, this is what the dresser is made from. And uh, this dresser was actually made in the house for the family. The dresser was made by Michael Cuddoff of Fall Moor, whose family was synonymous with dresser making and furniture making in general. But it was made for a family of Gorgons in Black Side. And the last man who owned that dresser was a Michael Gorgon. He was known as Big Michael of Tarn and Black Side. So that's the gist of the basic of the dresser. This dresser now is well over seven feet tall, seven or eight, seven foot eight or ten probably. And uh, it is made of red deal. Red deal throughout. Even the boards at the back, which were sawn into half inch grooved or rebated boards, and that's how it was made. And uh, like I said, most of the furniture in those days was made on site in the house. It's probably the first time in 90, well, 80 years anyway, that that dresser had left the house as the day it was made. Um. And little bits and pieces on the top, well, are they your own or from your own home or did you pick them up along the way? Well, then, then my wife was Kate, Kate that picked all those up. Now she would be the one to describe those because she's picked them up from all over the place and uh, a lot of it is a lot of it would be local. This is the sort of stuff that was that that was um, that would be in daily use in the old days. You know, all the delf on it. The dresser, the dresser was used for 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 many purposes. It was the only cabinet or safe place in the house. The uh, the cupboards they had all the they had all the dishes up on the on the racks and on the shelves and the plates, tilting outwards on the rails, going across. That was the, the, the place where they kept the, the, the ones they, they wanted to use more or less daily. They were easy to pick off. And down the bottom here, the ones at the top were the big meases or um, large uh, dishes. So. They were rarely taken down, only when they painted it. And they painted the dresser in those days at Christmas every year, almost every Christmas, if there was paint around. Uh, that, that dresser, it's, it's hard to imagine how many coats, coats of paint that was put on that dresser. But if they had no paint, they would strip it down, wash it and dry it for the Christmas. Or if there was a station, um, house stations coming up on their turn. That was another reason they had for cleaning it and taking it down. Unfortunately this is only one of maybe there's possibly another one here in this area that was made by the same uh, family. So I guess that the Cordus were synonymous with furniture making in general. Now The shoulders that's, that overhangs this dresser at the top, under the cornice, were particularly 
um, synonymous with this family. That was their traditional uh, trademark. It overhangs at the top about three inches out over the rest of it. Most dresses were made plain, but this was the kind of uh, trademark. And um, down below then, it's only in recent years, say in the past uh, hundred years, they started putting two drawers in the lower part of the dresser. Um, before this, there was just the two doors, and it was maybe nine or ten inches off the floor. It, it stood on, on feet or legs, and um, you could put um, you could put pots and, and and oh, you could put a load of things in underneath it. And that's where they used to store a lot of stuff. But it's in in, in recent times. Like I said, within the last hundred, hundred or hundred and ten years, they started using putting drawers in the in the dresser. So that's why they kept the cutlery in the drawers and other little bits and pieces and knickknacks, like the man of the house, spare pipe, spare tobacco, knife, whatever. So we were lucky to uh, to um, to get hold of this old dresser. And uh, the house where it came from is no longer there. There's a new house built on the site. And it would come to uh, a bad end, I believe, if it hadn't been rescued. So it's here now, I think, to stay. But generally, every house in this area had a dresser of some description. Now, nearly every townland had a different type are different shaped dresser. And there was in, there was a carpenter guaranteed in every townland, if not three or four in some families. And uh, there is not one anymore. There's none of those older dressers left. So that's about that's about all there's to it, I think. You know? Yeah.